about Mattel's Barbie with Carlisle Nuera under the gold label. The Barbie doll wears a long pink gown under a sheer overdress printed with a tribal motif and a sun icon from the Philippine flag. Accessories include the golden earrings, the ornate necklace, the bracelet, and the lace fan. And may I say, very authentic. We'll get to know the story of Mutia Barbie from the designer himself. How exciting! <laughs> Carlisle, you're here, and yeah. here is your beautiful Mutia Barbie, and it's under the gold collection. Yes, so the gold let, label. Let, let's talk about um, how did this happen? Were you? <laughs> did you go to Mattel and did you say, "Hey, I'm Filipino. You got to make this design"? <laughs> or, I mean, share with us how this this happened because it's iconic. I mean, <laughs> you, the dress you. to design the dress alone. I mean, how how does that process work? So, um, I've been working at Mattel at this time for about three years when I got this project. And okay. I was working in what we call the mainline division or the playline division, which are like the dolls that you play with that are you know, mostly intended for kids. But mm -hmm. it was always my dream to become part of the Barbie collector team. Okay, so what is the difference between the two? The difference for, so the Barbie collector team designs dolls for the collector. So in general, they're more expensive, they're you know using finer fabrics and finer details. So you don't pick it up and play with it, right? I mean, you. You can, Could, but, <laughs> but it's, it's so beautiful, you don't even want to touch it. I mean, you want to put it up on a pedestal, yeah. right? Okay. So I've been working um, in the Playline division, but I always wanted to become part of the Barbie collector team, and this project was my first project okay, so for they, the Barbie collector so team. So they asked you to create the Mutia Barbie? Like they said to you, mm -hmm. Mutia, can you, can you make the Mutia Barbie? No, what actually happened was this doll is part of a series called the Global Glamour Collection. I see. And so the first doll in the series was inspired by Kenya, the second doll in the series was inspired by Venice, and the third doll in the series was my project. And so it was up to me to take the series, you know, anywhere around the globe that I want to take it. And of course, ding, 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 of course, where I look towards besides my own culture. Well, you know what? I just have to say, I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> I seriously am. Props to Mattel for allowing this project to come into fruition because people like me, I mean, there's so many Filipino Americans in America alone. And I just know that people will be scrambling <laughs> to get, you know, the Mutia Barbie because this really is representative of who we are here in America and for such an iconic brand such yes. as Mattel's Barbie to be wearing our national costume. <laughs> I mean, it sort of signifies that, yes, we are represented in this country. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, I mean, if you look at it as, well, I just designed the clothing for the doll. It's so much more than that, Carlisle. Yeah. So let's talk about how you came uh, up with the design because if you look at it intricately, I see, I see the actual sun yeah. <laughs> in the fabric. Let's talk about how you came up with this, in, uh, the inspiration to come up with uh, the doll. I mean, I always, I definitely started from the traditional teranomi, which is so iconic, especially with the shape of the sleeves. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like it's very iconic to the national costume. Mm -hmm. And I think from there, I just sort of dramatize it. I dropped it down to the floor. Mm -hmm. I wanted to add um, embroidery on the hem, which is inspired by the Sampaguita, the national flower, of course. Uh -huh. In general, I feel like I always try to be the most thoughtful designer it can be, that every detail has a thought behind it and every detail means something. So even the print on the Shiro Organza, you know, evocative of the piña fabric that, you know, the Ternos and Barongs are made of, mm -hmm. I wanted to have the print sort of evoke, you know, tribal textiles and then the sun icon from the flag as well. Okay, and so how many how many drafts did you have to go through to get this final product? Um, about two. Okay. The first draft, the first sketch was a little different. The colors were a little different, and then when we made it in 3D, you know, we decided to make some tweaks to kind of have like this warm sort of sunset color palette. Okay, so yeah. do, does it usually it starts with a drawing first? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then how do you create? Um, how do you create clothing for such a small <laughs> thing? So Mattel, we have an insanely, insanely amazing and talented team of pattern makers, seamstresses, face paint designers, hair designers, sculptors to you know help us. If this is my vision, to help us create this vision in three, you know, in three D. Mm -hmm. So with the support of you know the amazing team at Mattel, I was able to you know work with our pattern maker to get the shape of the sleeves just right. We actually created um, a form 
that had the same shape that we could sort of drape the sleeve over mm -hmm. and pleat the sleeves over to get the right shape. And then um, working with a graphic designer too to get the right graphics and a sculptor to get all the intricate sculpted details of the jewelry. I am, I am amazed. <laughs> she is beautiful. And so the name calling her Mutiat Barbie, yeah. uh, were you behind that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was definitely um, a, a choice that I made because, you know, this doll is Filipino and I think to call it something Filipino versus some, like an English name, I think, you know, makes it even stronger as a representative of our culture. Okay, well, I'm so thankful to Mattel for allowing you to be here to talk about the Mutia Barbie. And not only that, they've been kind enough to be giving away Mutia Barbie. So when we return, we'll give you more details. You won't want to miss that. We'll be right back on Kababayan today.